A couple months ago, I think it was back in March, I went to Mykonos and I left him. It was for obviously for work and stuff, so it's all a girl's trip. Obviously, if I could bring him, I would be the happiest girl on earth. But I can't. And yesterday I was like crying almost because I was like, I'm gonna be so sad because I'm gonna miss my dogs and my brother and my boyfriend. So it's just like, just just gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. I, I'm actually going to Spain. It's um, an island called, I don't even know how to say it. I think it's called Mallorca. Something like that. Are you excited? It's, yeah, I'm excited. I think like the hardest thing about traveling is like the flight there because it's literally like so freaking far. Like my my flight it's a 10 hour flight well almost 11 hour flight and then i have a stop in barcelona and then i get there so i'm not getting there until tomorrow tomorrow like nighttime here do you feel comfortable traveling by yourself now? um i feel a little bit more confident because remember the first time i flew with you the first time we flew together, and this is my first time out of the country. This is my first time even using my passport. And I was freaking out. Like, I was like having a panic attack. Was it when we got there? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. I think you were just so traumatized or something. Yeah, so I when I got there, like, I was like, I didn't know about, like, a lot of things about traveling. Like, you had to fill out this form and, like, people they ask you questions and like how long are you saying and all this stuff so i just like i was like what is going on i thought it was just like you go through like how it is here in america but um i was freaking out and the second time around i went to mcnose but i had a buddy with me her i'm sure you guys know of i so we traveled last time together to mcnose and this time i'm going by myself like literally by myself are you gonna miss me? I'm just, I'm like, we didn't get no sleep, so I'm like on like fumes right now, but. Yeah, we tried to fall asleep really late yesterday because I know my schedule is gonna be so messed up. So when it's daytime here, it's gonna be nighttime. When it's nighttime here, it's gonna be daytime over there. So I like tried to stay up really late. Like it was like six o'clock in the morning and we've gotten no sleep. I mean, he has to get used to it because last time, we barely talked, right? It wasn't my fault, that was your fault. Okay. She got, in these places, like, they don't really have service a lot of no. times. And, like, she has to kind of just be around Wi-Fi. But if she's mm -hmm. out and about, it's like... I can't contact him. Anymore. I'm sure there's a way, like, where next time she goes, we can get her, like, a... Um, Plan or something. Like, an extra phone that's, like, an international phone. Mm -hmm. Probably, like, a little Android or something. Yeah. <laughs> but, I'm sure there's a way that we, we're just not professional. Well, travelers. I have one. Um, last time I went, I was like with T-Mobile. I think I have like certain places that I can still like text, but I can't call or something. Yeah. I think I can text, but I can't call. So, and you know. Well, it's better than nothing. Yeah, it's better than nothing. But it was really hard to like stay in contact with my family and stuff because a lot of these places I don't have any service or I need to be on Wi-Fi or something and mm. last time uh, when I first got to this house like last time in Greece they their Wi-Fi was off for the first couple days so I had no way of contacting him my mom or anything so I had to borrow people's phones because they had the they had European like obviously phones so so yeah, so hopefully this time I have Wi-Fi so I can contact you. Well, He's low-key sad, but he doesn't want to show it. I'm I'm not very like super 
super duper expressive when it comes to the, my emotions, like in my face. You want me, I would look the same no matter what, honestly, but uh, it doesn't, it's not bad the first day. Cause you know, I be getting, you know, sometimes you just be getting tired of people. <laughs> not like that, but like, you know, a day is like cool. Like, all right, like I've had my day. I could play 2K all day. I can play games. I can just be like, I can just like not have to worry about cleaning up shit or something. But like then after, after you wake up and you be by yourself, you just be hella sad. You be like, damn, I'm really by myself in this bitch. I mean, we got our dogs, but the dogs are obviously not Carlos. So it's like, mm. you know, um, it'll probably be harder for me to sleep because then I won't like I think that's the hardest thing is like during the day you try to because Cayman's been away and I've like I like try to keep myself busy throughout the whole day and then the when it comes to sleeping like I almost dread it because it's like oh it feels so weird it's just not as comfortable so if you have a bad dream and you wake up, you know like I'm there, like I know you're there or something. Yeah. Or, you know, you just kind of get your day started. Like it's easier because like you, I, we can talk about what we want to do. Like you're not really ever bored, mm -hmm. or you're not really like lonely. Yeah. So, I think when you live together too, and like we don't really have regular jobs, so it's like we're really together all the time. Mm -hmm. It's like more extreme. I think if we like both had jobs and both lived in separate apartments and like we saw each other every couple of days and stuff like that it wouldn't be probably this bad but like it's just more extreme because we always are around each other so if we're missing it's like harder mm -hmm. and we started off long distance anyway so like that whole like being away thing like it's just annoying to us because it's like we don't like yeah. feeling like that so but honestly we only lasted like a year not even a year of being long distance I mean, I came out here all the time though. Yeah. It didn't really bother me. I like coming out here. Yeah. But I want her to like experience these things and go to these, go to these places and like not worry about making me feel sad because I'm not going or whatever. Like, I think it's good and important for like, no matter what, I want her to have experiences and be have fun and like not not go because I can't go or not go because her brother can't go. I want her just to go and like have the memory she can tell me how it is maybe we'll plan to go there on our own but like while she can go while she's young and like she can travel for free and like do these things you might as well just do it like i'm not gonna be like i feel like it'd be worse if i left i think she'll be more devastated i think i can try to like stay busy and like kind of block it out a little more than her but um traveling is like really fun it's dope like when you look back on like where you travel to and stuff like it's really like an amazing experience so um, that for people that ask me like how do you feel when she leaves or like why aren't you there like I don't feel salty or anything I'm like happy for her like I want her to go do these things um, I think a lot of boyfriends are more controlling they're like oh, I don't want you to go here without me or like I'm gonna have a problem with it or something I don't think that's cool so um, I hope she has a good time like last time <laughs> She literally called me. She was like, "I'm ready to go home." Like she's like was over. After like three days, I think she'll. Be I know. Over I think it. after the third day, I was like, "I want to go home." She'll miss the dogs and she'll miss me, obviously. But you know, she'll have fun. Her. I'm gonna cry again. Oh, we were at the airport. Alex. Carlos was very sad. <laughs> Your yeah. alarm's going off. We're at the airport and I know Carlos is sad. Um, I'm gonna cry again. She was crying a, a little bit ago, but that'd be weird if I, we just stuck the camera in her face while she was really legitimately crying. That'd be just weird, but we are here. I are talked to my mom. She gave me some encouraging words. Be all right. Ew, I just snotted. You'll be okay. <sighs> Strong, independent woman. I know. <laughs> Driving to this airport is like the most tragic thing ever. It's really annoying. I don't know if you can see what you see or not. It's the worst. LAX the worst. But it's the only international airport here. So. 
and I have to. But yeah, I'm gonna miss everyone. I'll come back with some memories. Yeah, just be ready for some looks, I guess. Man, this airport is trash, man. Do you have any last words before I leave? To, uh, uh to you? To me. Well, you'll know I miss you. I'm not like, probably super sensitive on the camera, but if I'm by myself, I'll probably be more sensitive, but. You can talk when you get home. Uh, I'll be okay. I'm not gonna like, go in a depression or anything, but I'll be sad. Yeah. You know, it's the life we chose. It's the life you chose, baby. It's the life you chose. So people don't get to travel out of their own city, so you know you gotta take advantage. Of stuff. Some people make make fun of me because they're like, "Girl, you like you're about to go and like," da -da 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 -da. but it's not. You're not in my shoes. So. I mean, yeah, that's kind of like I think, especially being a girl and traveling that far. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, by yourself, girls can do anything, you know. But um, I think it's just a little scary. It would be, it would be scarier to me, like. Just, I know it's scary when I'm by, like I'm just going with her. So I know by herself it's gonna be a whole another level of like you gotta really be on your toes and just mm -hmm. make sure you know you're aware of your surroundings and stuff. I want you to be safe. Yeah. Because they be kidnapping girls and shit all the time. Yeah. And putting them in like sex trades and shit. And I can't even find you. So you know, just try to keep me updated. Try to have white like probably should try to get wife on the plane. Mm -hmm. And then. Yeah, I want to call you and stuff. I'm going to try to get Wi-Fi and stuff. It's the longest flight, so I need Wi-Fi. Just watch some movies and take like some sleep and shit and then just knock out. I'm going to take some night cool before I can play. Uh, my stomach hurt. When I get back, I'll update you guys. And then by that time, I'm like, it wasn't even that bad. Why should you be like, it wasn't even that bad? You're going to call me in four days and be like, I want to go home. I know, last time I was like, I want to go home. I'm ready to come home. So this time I'm, I'm actually, um, it's not as long as my other last trip. The other day, the other time it was 10 days because of the whole traveling situation. But this time it's seven days, so it's not as long. That's that. See you guys later. I just said goodbye to Carla and um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm sad. I know y'all probably like, I only want to watch this channel for Carla anyways. You know, for all the people that be saying that, you know, that really be hurting my feelings. Like, I do have a personality. I do like my own thing. So it's like, you know, I get comments all the time. Like, oh, I'm only following you because of Carla. Like, honestly, that's great. But I am human. I'm, I have feelings too. So <laughs> if you do like me, I would, that would be nice to hear it every now and then. Like, damn. But anyway, uh, so yeah, she left, I said bye, and um, yeah, I don't know, it's like, I've been with her for almost two years now, we obviously have been living together for over a year, so it's like, when you are with somebody for that long, and you've, are t you've, been, you've been like, you're like best friends, you're like family, like you're just, you've been through so much already, it's kind of hard when they leave, but it just kind of sucks, it's like a whole week of me trying to like figure out what to do with myself, which isn't hard like i'll go play basketball and hang out with the homies and all that but ain't nothing nothing compares to your woman though like when you really have a woman that you like appreciate and care about there's just nothing compares to it like there's no there's no type of love that can fulfill like that void of that person being gone so um it makes me really sad like i'm not gonna cry or anything um not because i don't want to just because i really don't really cry like that but um yeah, I'm gonna miss her for sure, for sure. That's really my my whole everything, and um, I feel like I'm getting it all like emotional on the camera for y'all. Even though it might not come across as that, like I promise you, I am. Um, I'm just not the type to sit up here and try to fake like me being super sad or me being super animated. If like that's not who I really am, I'm really just like <sighs> I'm very like the type to just suppress my emotions and pretend like everything's good. I know that's not healthy, but um, right now I'm sad and I'm tired. And we just, I'm just hoping these days go by fast. But 
while she is gone, um, I don't know. I'm, pr I'm probably not gonna post anything on this. It's like it's KB and Carla. It's not just KB. Like I would, I wouldn't want to be just posting shit on here that has nothing to do with uh, her. It just wouldn't make sense. So appreciate y'all for watching. In the meantime, um, you can you can stay up to date with her like on her Instagram. She'll be posting a lot. Um, but one thing I, I want to say again is like if you're with a because i know a lot of girls subscribe to this channel so if you're with a guy and um you guys are together that's your boyfriend and he's holding you back in any type of way um just remember that like just try to remember that you have a life too and you know the everything you do isn't supposed to be based around um what your boyfriend or your partner wants to do and i say that because um as i've gotten older and i've learned and i've been in previous things like it's really important for you to support um, your partner's dreams and what they want to be and what they want to do. You got to be their number one fan, their number one supporter. And I think that will really help you go a lot further. Um, I want Carla to do as much as she needs to. I've seen a lot of comments, like, I've seen a lot of comments in one of our other videos too where it was saying like, oh, uh, before she got with you, she was doing so much more. She was in these music videos. She was in that, that music video. She was doing this. She was modeling. I think people who are ignorant to like what how this business works and entertainment works like obviously you might think like oh she's in a music video that's a, a great thing to be in but like yes it is at the same time it's it's really not doing anything for her career wise like, so a lot of people are making comments acting like because she's with me like it's it's slowing her down or it's hindering her from um being greater or doing more and to be honest that's like the furthest thing from the truth i think being with me like and me being with her, we both push each other to be better. We both ch challenge each other to be better. Um, and I think that's the most important thing for your partner too, is like, they need to challenge you to do better and be better. Since I've been with her, I've been on my shit. You know what I'm saying? I've really been like, getting my business really, really done. And comments where people are acting like I slow her down or I'm not her number one supporter. If if anything, I'm the one that's gonna take her pictures. I'm gonna film for her. I'm gonna edit her videos. I'm going to drive her to her events. I'm gonna go with her. Sometimes I don't go because I don't be feeling like it, but like I'm her number one supporter. Like me and her brother and her family like are her number one supporters and I don't ever get salty or I don't ever get mad or make my girlfriend feel like she can't go to like a Spain or she can't go experience, experience these things that like She's gonna look back and just be so happy that she was able to do all this and like she had somebody like that was by her side that didn't make her feel bad for leaving them. So um, that's one. That's my one key of, of advice for anybody that's young out there that's in a relationship or old. Like, don't let that person slow you down from doing you and continuing on with your dreams. Um, just make sure, like, if you are with somebody, that they're gonna. Um, uplift you and challenge you and you know always be by your side for the right reasons and that's just what it is for me and her so I'm gonna miss her um, she'll probably watch this if you're watching this I love you uh, we obviously will probably be calling each other and talking to each other so you'll hear this anyway but I am sad I'm gonna go home I'm gonna just try to play 2k and not think about my loneliness in my life but <laughs> um, this gives me time you know to focus on me too it's good to um, also have some separation. It's not good to be together 24 7. So um, I'm gonna take this time and kind of focus on doing some things for myself um, That doesn't mean like In a bad way that means like, you know me really like taking the time to figure out what I like and Do everything I need to do. So I hope you guys um, Just stay stay tuned in make sure if you haven't already to um if you already if you aren't subscribed make sure you subscribe to our channel it really helps us this motorcycle is hella fucking loud um and also like click that little bell where it notifies you when we post i feel like it doesn't send like notifications out for when we do post so do those things thank thank y'all for rocking with us i miss my wife my girlfriend i would be all right though i love y'all peace hey.